Management is something that a lot of us deal with. And if you've gotten to the point where medicines aren't working and surgery isn't working and you're at the end of the rope, there's one more thing that you might want to try to relieve your pain. Kinesiotherapy may be just the treatment that you need. It uses techniques to provide relief to people with low back pain, hip pain, shoulder, neck, wrist pain, and more without the use of medication, surgery, or manipulation. And there are also great implications for Parkinson's patients that we'll get to in just a minute. Dr. Paul Gustafson has worked in the field of exercise science for over 30 years. He is a registered kinesiotherapist. Did I get that right? Dr. Gustafson, thanks so much for being here with us today. My pleasure. Kinesiotherapy uses gentle stretching, strengthening to reestablish alignment. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Kinesiotherapists can specialize in any number of different areas. The thing that distinguishes us is that the only modalities of treatment we use are exercise and education. I've chosen to focus my practice on pain management and working with Parkinson's disease. With respect to pain management, we are working on the basis that we are created with an ideal posture and as our posture deviates from the ideal then our joints are distributing the forces in a way they weren't designed, designed to do to so. Do. Right. And so what we try to do is with gentle strengthening and, and stretching movements is to move the body back toward the ideal posture and then allow the joints to distribute the forces as they were designed to do. Interesting. Um, now, one of the things that, that you have uh, seen happen is that people with Parkinson's disease have reported improvements in their balance and endurance and strength with a kind of boxing yes. that you do. That's the other side of my practice. We have found that high intensity training has seemed to benefit those with Parkinson's disease, help them to cope with their their condition. Are they actually coming in like with gloves and, 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 and doing these sort of motions? We have, we do some work on the bags and yeah, but we also do other things that work on person's balance uh, and their coordination. So when they're doing that are they getting um, you know like relief from the tremors, the shaking that we associate with Parkinson's? We have seen uh, that happen. When I was going through the training in Indianapolis, I saw all four, all different levels of Parkinson's from levels one through level four. And it's amazing when I was working in the gym with some of these folks that they would, they would come in and you would see a blank affect, no affect. And just after 20 minutes in their program, all of a sudden they had a personality. Uh, wow. Some, some of the folks that I didn't have a chance to meet, but I, I was told about there, had come in as kind of a last resort. They'd tried everything else, and they came in in a wheelchair, and in a few weeks they were up on their feet doing things that their caretakers never dreamed that they'd be able to do, to do anymore. Isn't that fantastic? Absolutely. That is wonderful. Um, I'm sure that this is intriguing to many of you who are watching today and I want you to know that you can go to our website wjbf.com and click on the Jenny link and you'll find um, links to Dr. Gustafson and his practice. I hope you're taking new patients. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Take all, all patients are by referral only. Uh -huh. So contact your physician or your PA or nurse practitioner for the referral and give me a call and we can Set look up. at working, working together. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being here today.